even in the human body, I was still not quite the same. And I was a lot stronger than the average human, probably twice as strong, I would say. And I was, I was a big guy. I walked into a big body. So he was six foot two. Wow. And he was a big burly guy. Okay. He had played uh, football in high school. And he was actually dying of this disease. So I stepped in and saved him. And, but I, I said, in order for me to save you, you have to step aside for at least six years and let me do my thing. And then when it's done, you're not going to remember what happened. You're going to oh. have like amnesia. That's and he went, if I, if I can live, yeah, I'll do it. So that's wow. how I became who I was. And then you just stepped out. When I left, he returned to his normal person. Wow. And he remembered, started to remember things. And But those six years, uh, not much did he remember of those. Wow. Did you use technology to walk in? Yes. No, 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 no contact. This was one-on-one -on -one agreement, and it was forgotten as I left, and nobody knows that I was there. Wow. But when you left his body, so that guy was after you left, completely loser, right? No, actually, he re started to remember things. Yeah, but he could not be that strong and not run like you. Well, yeah. I picked a strong body because it oh. was strong. Right. And so I left. He was a little less strong, yes. But he was but healed. Not a, at all a weakling or a wow. loser, no. And he was healed then, correct? He was actually a pretty bright guy. So that's why he agreed to do what he did. I said, look, if you're smart, you won't die now, and then you won't die later. So, yeah, you'll just forget six years. That's it. How was it that you were that you healed him over that course of time what was that uh, that was process? easy because the, uh, what he had was something that we understood so I'm not going to tell you all about his diseases okay but it was something that we could help him with because it was we just replaced a couple things let's put it that way well did it really take that long or you just wanted to hang out after a while and no my mission time? was six years long that, <laughs> that's what they gave me okay it was almost to the day six years, but we couldn't make it actually to the day because that would be a little suspicious. So it was uh, six years and one month. Uh. Is, that, is that possible that I would walk in in the crocodile on your planet for six years? You could walk in as an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that not possible? Reverse. I, I would like well, to you're, well for one thing, your people don't have the technology to do that. So, I mean, they do, but they don't know where our planet is. We're not in contact with your governments. You're, I'm in contact with you. That's it. This is how you know of our species. You mean your walk-in, though, right? Oh, the walk-in in, in the military? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, I contacted him and said, listen, I listen, I made a voice in his ear that said this. Listen, this is not a joke. This is serious. Can you hear me? Wow. And he said, what? <laughs> and I said, I am seriously talking to you. Can you hear me? He said, who is this? I said, can you hear me clearly? He said, yes, who is this? I said, just listen to me first before I tell you who I am. I can help you. I can save your life. I can make you whole again. Really? Yes. But you must do something for me. What? Well, if I give you your life back, you must give me six years of it. Otherwise, you are going to die, because they do not have the research to keep you alive here. Who is this? My name is not important. What I want is, 
I have a mission that I would like to take place in your body. I would like to go into the military, which you already are, because he had just joined the military. I would like to be in your body for six years for my planet to study your military. Oh man, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> when I lie to you, I don't know who you are. You can tell me anything, I don't know. So I said, all right, if I make you well now, and you are well for five days, will you agree to this proposition? Yeah, sure, make me well. If you make me well, and I continue to live for five days, perfect, I have to feel perfect, hmm. then, yeah, maybe. No, no, maybe. You must say yes or no. Because I am holding you to your word. It was a very long silence. He said, what the fuck? <laughs> that sounds like a military guy. So I said, what does that mean? Was that a yes or a no? He said, I will do it. If you're lying, I, I don't know what to do. He said, I, I don't know what to do. I said, is it yes or no? I want to live. Who is this? Is this, is this a dream? No, it's not a dream. Okay, if I say yes, you mean that I will be alive for six years while you're doing a mission, and then I'll come back, and how much longer will I live? Will I die when I get back? No, you will continue to live a normal life for many years. Unless you get hit by a car. <laughs> Who is this? Do you say yes or no? All right, I say yes. Make me well and I will, I will let you do it. He was well for five days. And I came back. He was very excited. He was not married, but he did have a girlfriend. He said, what about my girlfriend? I said, I am sorry, I am not going to take care of your girlfriend. <laughs> that is not part of my mission. My mission is to keep your body alive. My mission is to heal your body and take my mission for six years and then bring you back and let you finish your life as a whole person, a well person. All right, can I say goodbye? No, you may not say goodbye. I will take care of the situation. I will take care of it. He said, you don't even know her. I said, but when I get into your brain, I will know many things that you know. I will see her in your mind. She will come to me or I will go to her and we will have a discussion and I know exactly what to say and it will be all right. All right, man, I trust you. I have been well for five days and they found no sign of this illness in me at all. I said, I am ready to walk in and push you aside. You will not remember anything. You will be in the background and you will be in a subconscious. I don't know, it sounds pretty scary. 
you already agreed. I'm coming in now. What do I do? Don't do anything. Just be very still and calm. Sit down. Uh, is this going to hurt? No, it's not going to hurt. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Man, if this hurts, I, I, I don't know, man. I might not be able to do it. It won't hurt. So, he sat down. I said, take a deep breath. He took a deep breath. And I came in and pushed him aside and into his subconscious, and it did not hurt. But his personality did change. I did see the personality that was there. I did understand it. And so the, some of his personality was, okay. some of his, his personality was still there, but it was more me than him. And people noticed, and especially his girlfriend. She said, I don't think that you are who you say you are. You look like him, but you don't talk like him. And I said, yeah, I know. But now I'm better. And now that I'm better, I have a change of heart. I have a change of understanding of what I want to do with my life. And right now, I want to be free. I want a new life, a new start. I want to start all over again. I don't want any relationships right now. I want to go into the military and I want to live a free life right now, even though I, I know that the military is not actually a really free life. But. So she bought it. And that's how my story goes. Um. I'd like to hear the end of the story. After the six years were up, how did you help the person? Well, react oh, yeah. All life? right. I can tell you that. Thank you. That's actually Thank pretty you. interesting, too, really, because smart. Um, I came out. I started to come out. <coughs> and he came back. And, I came, and he was, like, waking up. <clears throat> and I said, I really am very, very thankful it was a very successful mission, but now you will remember nothing. But I had to tell him that before I told him he would remember nothing. But that's not really true, and I'll tell you what I mean. If he were to get a pass, or, or if he would get regressed in psychology or whatever you want to call yeah, it, hypnosis. if he would get a regression, right. that would be come, come out in his sub subconscious. Oh. Good. He would probably remember uh, being regressed and some parts of where, when I was there. Because not that it went, it went to his subconscious my whole life there. Because it, it was in his body, of course, so it went to his subconscious. But not his conscious at the time, because that was me. Wow. But I did not control his subconscious. So, how did he adjust to his new life? From with the, did he get well, I looked on, uh, in on him for a few months, and I gave him back a lot of things that he could use in the meantime. Many of the stories that I went through, I made it so it was him that went through it. Mm. So you have the ability to look at us. The technology. Yes, we have the ability to look at you, yes. Not pretty. <laughs> <laughs>